Back, the Central Chargers are looking forward to getting back on the basketball court this coming season. But they're going to do so without one of their top players. Quay Primus has lost a lot this year. Avery Braxton explains his motivation to get back out on the floor. One of the best basketball talents in Central Georgia will not be on the floor this year. Central basketball star Quay Primus will spend the year recovering after a devastating knee injury over the summer. He had a special reason to play after losing his grandfather to COVID-19. Now he's dedicating that recovery process to him to make sure he returns better than ever. We're used to seeing Central High School's Quay Primus this way. But right now, this okay? is Primus's reality. So when I first did it though, I didn't think it was bad. But I kept playing on it, I kept going to turn it, playing on it. And then when I went to the doctor to get my MRI, and he told me I took my ACL, I like to cry. A torn ACL and a small meniscus tear will sideline Primus most, if not all, of his senior year. It's heartbreaking for him because the basketball court is his sanctuary. Without basketball, I don't know what I would have been doing. I don't know. I can't even see myself without playing basketball. I love it to death. Central head coach Andre Taylor has been there with him plenty. Him get out there for that first time and when he scored that first basket and how excited he was, I just knew then that it was going to be something special in this kid. And, each year he's grown more and more. When Quay was in the eighth grade, his grandfather on his father's side, Lucius Primus, introduced him to the game. But their relationship was way more than basketball. He made me, he made me be a great person. Uh, he took in when my dad wasn't there for me. He did a lot for me, he taught me a lot of things. And he raised me, we did a lot of things together. And it was Lucius and Quay's grandfather on his mother's side, Sanford Kendrick, who kept Quay out of trouble. Quay lost Lucius in 2019. In April, Kendrick died from coronavirus. It's a death that rocked Quay to his core. I had never heard him scream like that when my, my father passed, so it, it took effect on me. It was like losing my best friend. Like he was my best friend, you know. He did a lot for me. I just wanted to like repay him for everything he did. Now, Quay's focus is on recovery. He likely won't return to the floor for the Chargers this season, but he'll still be in Macon for years to come. He's committed to play basketball for Mercy University. Get that degree for your grandfather. And I know he'll be so much more proud of that degree you get uh, in this high school diploma than anything you do on a court. And when he does return to his sanctuary, there'll be new angels guiding his steps. I think they'll be smiling, looking down on me like, he's going he's gonna to get it done. Like, he's going to be the one that get there for us, like, play there for us, you know. Make it big, hopefully. Although Quay won't be on the floor with his teammates this year, you can best believe he'll be cheering his teammates on from the sidelines as they try to repeat their final four run from last season. Central basketball's first game of the year is November the 27th. In Macon, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports. I'm going to miss seeing him this year, but good things are to come. Of course, as you heard, Mercer will be keeping tabs on Quay's progress since he'll be continuing his hoops career with the Bears after he graduates from high school.